So it's me, Kiani. Aha! We have a brand new background. I'm hoping you guys enjoy the new setting. We actually have my new makeup collection that is on full display. I turned this into my new studio. I'm super excited about the backdrop. But today we are kicking off my new series, Age Less Glam More. Of course, I announced that I was going to be producing a new series for my YouTube channel. I also put tickets on sale at Eventbrite and allowed 20 people to come in and ask me their makeup and skincare questions. Of course, the catch was they had to bring their own makeup bag and I was going to address those questions using products in their makeup bag, of course, with a little bit of help from my grand sponsors. Big thanks to my sponsors for helping me making this event a huge, huge success. There's been so many requests for another class that I'm super excited that this is actually my clientele once here in the area. But you know, this event did spend over about three hours. So we did edit the video down to about four different segments. So there are going to be four different questions. You'll see this intro on part one through part four. So don't shun me. We just want to make sure we can get the content up and out. And for those of you that are interested in this type of concept coming to your hometown, make sure that you comment down below on what is your beauty or skincare related question. Let me know what town should I come to next. You guys know I love to know. Comment down below. But to make sure that you also get a chance to get insight on how I answered the other questions that came in from this series, make sure that you click that subscribe button. Also click that bell for post notifications to be notified once the videos go live. Without further ado, let's go ahead and kick off the series. Come on up, Miss Monique. Give Miss Monique a big round of applause. So you guys received a 15 palette eyeshadow unit from Ruby May Cosmetics. Big thanks to Ruby May for sponsoring it. You guys, this full eye look I did with one eyeshadow palette. Like I'm super excited. So she said, I don't know nothing about eyeshadow. So most times this would intimidate a lot of people. Because it's 15. But it really should. When you're looking at eyeshadows, I'm going to tell you the best trick, and I'm going to get to this one. The best trick is if it has mattes and shimmers. You have two different functionalities, two different textures. It's all throw them off. And they put a mirror, and it's white. Honey, you can beat somebody down with this little pattern right here. <laughs> and you can get in this little mirror and just love on it, honey, because this look this morning at about 7 o'clock, she came through, okay? So what I want to show Monique, she was worried about her um, eyeliner. I'm not letting you use it. First of all, eyeliner knows when you're scared, it talks back. By 12 o'clock, if you're not doing a quick check-in, she is not your friend. So, this eyeliner probably is one of the least things that I use on my clients. Nine times out of ten, I do not use eyeliner. Because I have to depend on you to be consistent with not touching it. If you get a little teary, allergy season, we get a little warm, hair catches it, baby rubs our face, husband kisses, whatever. It can, you know, it can move. So I'm just going to grab this eyeshadow and I'm going to look at Miss Monique's bag. So I'm just gonna grab what's in my bag. You see how tight that is? It looks like it has like a little pencil eraser. These are like my favorite type brushes to use underneath here. But hers is similar. Mine that I use is a synthetic one. Here we go again, Stelazi. This one is, you can tell it's used, honey, Stelazi. This one is the S219. It's a precision pencil brush, okay? Now, the trick is, hold that one for me. Hers is natural hair fibers. Works good, yes. How do you tell the difference? That's my problem. So, natural hair fibers? Take it out the wrapper. Yeah, well, natural hair fibers really remind you of your hair. They're typically best used on dry products. Synthetic works really, really good on both. Can you see what's happening with her brush right here? See how it's kind of, it's deciding that it doesn't want to stay bold. Now a couple things can happen with that. It gets, and I make a bag, it gets crushed. A synthetic one typically will hold its shape a little bit better. Can you see that? And it all, it feels, it feels unnatural. So, which is why they call it synthetic. And I'm not quite sure what fiber they use with this one, but this brush, just with it being a point, I can really get into that eye so I can put it in the inner waterline. 
not irritate. I'm not gonna worry about it. if I stab myself, if I'm going down I-20 and trying to put it on, I've been known to do it. I don't stab myself if you wear contacts, it's not gonna graze it. So this is just a really good all the way around brush. Especially when we want to kind of pull the eyeshadow up into the eyeliner, I mean into the um, crease of the eye. So again, this is the S219. So I'm not gonna use my brush, I'm gonna use your brush. And look what I'm gonna use again. Because I want to turn this powder into something a little bit more wet. But just by the mere fact it is a powder, it's going to go back to being a powder. Okay? It just gives me a little bit more um, liquidness so I can blend it out better. So I'm going to spray your brush. I'm going to make this brush come form back together. See how I can kind of create the shape that I want? And that way I can kind of really tickle underneath that eyeliner. I'm just going to tap a little bit of this. Look up on that one from the ceiling. Have I done your face before? We just work together, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see it, John? Can you see what just happened? Mm -hmm. Eyeliner. Mm -hmm. Not your typical sense of an eyeliner. I don't mind the top ones, but those bottom ones get real, real tricky. So if you know that's a problem area, stop by them. They're going to all disappoint you. My eyeshadow. I can make any color eyeliner I want. Jet, I can use this deep amethyst this purple right here. I smoked my under eye area up. I went to this little bit of this Amazon, this green right here. That's what I smoked that out with. I was like, oh my God, I am in love. Just, I have enough shimmer so I can go in with this matte, but if I want it to be something a little bit more sparkly, I can come back with any of these colors and kind of create something a little bit more interesting. Like I said, make him think that I want to do it, right? So don't put eyeliner on the lid. Just put um, we can actually do the same thing on top. Hold on. So I'm going to do the same thing. Close down for me. Close Watch this. Can you see that? Boom. I'm on. Take a look. Hey, how you doing?